give us this day our daily can of whoop ass. That's right. It's time for episode four of this damn thing. And let me just be the first to say, fuck you, level one. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, so, first off, lots of things are going to teleport in. There's certain trigger points in the level where things will just come at you. Shotgunners, imps. No infantry, guys. None. They come later, I think. But no, not in level one. Level one, we're just going to be like, nah. Nah. And you got to figure out what the switches do. What the at well, you know what the asset does. But there's this is going to be the first of which I'll admit I am not always going to get all the secrets. And I'll explain why when I get there. But I will get this secret. You know why? Because there's a rocket launcher. And having a rocket launcher in level one is what I'm fucking talking about. I will go back again to the other teleporter to get more shotgun ammo. I want to be stocked up on my shit, okay? It's gonna especially help with the start of the next level. A lot of, a lot of planning going on when you're doing this. I mean, a while back ago I did do the whole thing in, in one go with saving. That's the other thing you may not have noticed. This is probably the first time at this level without using any saves. <laughs> Which is kind of fun. In a, ah, it's gonna kick my ass all the way. But as I, as I said, you know, you use, use a take that's great. Okay, so just, again, be mindful of any little shotgun that comes around the corner, because it'll shoot you, and it'll hurt, and there's no, there's like no health to go around except for those nine units of, a plus one potion. Which is insane. Anyway, there's a, uh, shadow pinky that's walking around the acid. Deal with him before you do anything else in here. And, you know, it's gonna take me a little bit, because again, I'm trying to conserve ammo. Crush little turbo pinky, don't you fry. Mama's gonna kick your ass in the eye. Alright. Now, if that stock song is copyrightable, well, then I feel stupid. You know, Beethoven stuff is still copyrighted, technically, even though that's been, like, I don't know, hundreds of years ago? Yeah, it's kind of silly, ah. Uh. Now that I've gone over here, I've just made the Baron spawn. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting barons of level one. Buckle your fucking ass up. There's more, more where that came from, my god. And I could have also gone around and triggered them that way. In fact, if I had gone around the other way where you'd normally do it, where the red key is, um, I probably could have gotten the teleport here sooner. I elected to do it this way so I'd have more distance. Of course, now it's going to take me a bit to get back in, but... That's alright. You kind of want to steer them towards where you are, because their pathfinding generally tries to take the quickest route to where you are without accounting for walls. It's otherwise about right. I think the guards would be a little smart, but hey, you know. Their movement around can be a little random while they're doing it. And there's a chain gun in there. Pass the chain gun. It'll also trigger more stuff. And also, there's shotgunners in the walls if they don't teleport here yet. I found this out the hard way, several times. It ruined so many runs. <laughs> I just where the fuck they're... I, I think you can actually shoot at them from where they're shooting through the walls, too. But... I suppose I could have checked with, like, a flip cheek to see what was up with that. I'm gonna rock at this guy. Yeah, this will be... One of those things where it's like, Oh, I didn't kill all the enemies on purpose, too. Again, that's related to the second secret being a jerk-ass dickwad. But it's not impossible to get everything. I want to stress that. But it doesn't mean it's always worth to get everything. Okay? At least get all those goody power-ups, right? So, you have to push this... You have to, like, use the use key on the torch to make the thing go down, which will reveal the Nine Inch Nails logo, which is, might be... It's probably taken out of the releases. But, if you go to this blue key and then push it, you could be trapped in there with four barons. Um, you can get down there without being stuck if you go down there before you get the blue key. And the four barons will be down there with you, and you push the button, you come out. But yeah, depending on how you run it, you can manipulate how it teleports in, which is quite easy to do. 
I can't consistently make it happen the way I want to sometimes, especially with all the enemies spawning there. But yeah, that, that, besides that, there's nothing in there. It's a whole trap marked as a secret. It's absolutely great that, you know, we reward completionism with being a fucking ass. That's okay, though. So I take it as it comes. I take it. Join me next time when I go into E4M2, and it's equally, if not more, insane. Goodbye.